Good morning, and today is Tuesday, May 31st, 2021, 2022, <laughs> and I want to personally welcome you to Morning Encounter. The Bible reminds us in Psalms 118 and 24 that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. We are Luke 18 and 18 and one generation. We are a group of people who will pray and not faint. And I would love it if you would take a moment and take your device and share on today's broadcast. Let somebody know that you're watching. Let someone know where you're watching from, that we're here in prayer. We're here standing in the gap. We're here reading the word and here in fellowship. Thank you all for joining us today for Morning Encounter. Y'all today is Testimony Tuesday. And I am thankful to be here with you all today. I'm so thankful that the Lord has allowed us to be on the broadcast, to be on the platform. Um, God is truly good. He is truly blessing. He's truly delivering, saving, and setting free. And I thank God for it. I thank God for it. God is a good God, y'all. He is a good God all the time and all the time. God is good. Hallelujah. We love the Lord today. We honor him. We reverence him. And I thank God for um, his breath being in our bodies today. God is good, y'all. That's all I can say. I cannot complain. I won't complain. Uh, I told somebody the other week, uh, I don't think anybody would listen if I sat around and complained. God is good. He is good. And just from the looks of it, I see that you all are typing things into the comment section. And that's letting me know that God has been good to you as well. Hallelujah. God is an awesome God. Before we get into our scripture today, I do want to say good morning to you all that are here. If you haven't already done so, let us know that you're here. Let us know that you're watching. And if this is your first time joining us, let us know where you are watching from. Hallelujah. Good morning. I want to first start off with saying good morning, Sister Kimmy. God bless you. It's great to see you on on today. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Mindy. God bless you. It's great to see you on today. Thank you for being here. Uh, good morning, Cousin V. God bless you. It's great to see you on. Hallelujah. Good, mo good morning, Sister Cookie. God bless you. It's great to see you on today. Good morning, Mother Duncan. God bless you. It's great to see you on today. And good morning, Sister Alicia Brown. God bless you. It's great to see you on today. And if you see someone in the comment section who you have not seen or you haven't had a chance to say good morning to, say something to them this morning. Say something to them now. Let them know that you see them. This may be the only uh, good morning that they get. Uh, from someone outside of the people that they live in the house with or outside of me. Let somebody know. Type their name in the comment section and say good morning to them. Hallelujah. God is good. We love the Lord. I thank God for my life right now. Y'all, I'm feeling good in my sanctified soul. I thank God for what he's doing and all he's done for us. Um, and, you know, people may be wondering, well, what, what did God do for you? I'm sitting right here. You know, he doesn't have to give me houses and land. And although if he wanted to give me those things, I will uh, definitely welcome them and thank God for it. But I just thank God for being here. That is enough. I have breath in my body. I thank God for being here. God is good, y'all. I love the Lord today. It is Testimony Tuesday, and I'm letting the redeemed of the Lord say so. <laughs> God is good. God is good. And listen, you all are already doing it. I appreciate it because it's a, it's a great reminder for me to let you all know you do not have to wait for a particular time in today's broadcast to put your prayers in the comment section. You can do that at any point, at any time while we are here in prayer. Um, if you wait till when we get into prayer, I may not see it. So if you want to go ahead and put that, put your prayer request in the comment section, you can do so. No hesitation. Let people know. And if you have a, if you have a specific request, you can put that in or you can type Lord, you know, and we will just uh, uh, speak out uh, a general uh, prayer over you uh, or let the Lord lead us in how to pray. But um, please feel free to do so. You don't have to wait. You can put that prayer request up now and uh, you, don't, you no delay, no delay. And that's what we're here for. We're here to share the word and we're here to pray. And you all, I, I was I was on um, in and out of social media yesterday and Sister McKenzie responded to um, our posting, welcoming her into the prayer group. And she said that uh, she said meeting meeting you and being connected to this group made her weak. And I'm so thankful for that because, listen, it's not about me. It's not about me at all. Anybody knows me for real knows that I am slightly shy. I, I'm, not, I'm not a huge talker when I get around people. I do not know 
or people I may not feel comfortable with and I get a little nervous and I get really quiet and I don't say a lot I just start looking and I, I, I thank God that even in um, me meeting um, Sister McKenzie that the Lord did not allow me to shy away and to just kind of step outside of my own little comfort zone and I'm so thankful that he allowed me to say something to her um, to, to speak up and to say something and I'm so thankful that she was uh, receptive and uh, that she is able to join to join us and um, you know she said she was feeling down about her brother and I told you all yesterday and she she said that back on the prayer group page and I said well thank God you know thank God I thank God that um, he, he, he had me to do something different and she responded to that and now we're connected and we can pray for one another and lift one another up in prayer. So I thank God for that and I thank God for her. That's that's another testimony. I'm sure you guys can thank, thank, think, think, think. Uh, the, the, the praise would go out at our churches, say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, all you have to do is think of the goodness of Jesus. Think about what God has done for you. Think about how he brought you out, how he delivered you, how he set you free. All you have to do is think about it. Just take a, a couple of moments. And uh, I've been listening to a teaching that uh, uh, the, 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 the preacher, the pastor has been saying, um, you know, uh, people try to get you to just clear your mind. Don't let your mind think. Your minds are going to always wonder and think and always be kind of imaginative. But what are you thinking about? Are you thinking on these things? Are you thinking on things of the Lord? Are you thinking about how God brought you out? Are you thinking about how God delivered you? Are you thinking about how he set you free? Are you thinking about how he redeemed you uh, when he saved you? I'm coming up on a spiritual birthday. Uh, spiritual birthday is coming up here in the next uh, next few weeks. And I think, and when I think about what God delivered me from, it makes me thank God. When you think about how God has delivered you, it should make you thank God. That's right, Mother Duncan. She says, I thank God for my life right now. That's something that our, our pastor says uh, in our local body that I think he'll have people stand up and say, thank you for my life right now. God, I thank you for my life right now. Anybody can say that with me this morning. God, I thank you for my life right right now uh, i'll tell you now things could be so different we can it, it, this could not even be a thing or somebody else could be doing this i don't know but i thank god hallelujah for my life right at this moment things may not be how you want them to be you may not have all the things you want to have you may not be living where you want to live but listen we ought to thank god that we have breath in our bodies we ought to thank god that we're here among the living we ought to thank god hallelujah for the peace that he's put in our heart Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God right now. Anybody want to praise the name of the Lord? <clears throat> because we don't deserve it. Hallelujah. We don't deserve it. Hallelujah. We could be anywhere else in the world, but he's decided to allow us to be here. And, and it, since we're here and while we're here, it is 618 in the morning on a Tuesday. Hallelujah. Uh, you all know I don't have a job right now to go to, a place to go to for work. Hallelujah. I could be asleep in my bed, but I thank God. Hallelujah for my life right now. I thank God for waking me up this morning. I thank God for being in my right mind because I could have woke up and things not been uh, clicking in my brain. Hallelujah. Anything could happen over in the midnight hour, but I thank God. Hallelujah. That's right, Sister Brown. She says, I thank God for my life right now. That's right. That's right, uh, Sister Renee. She said, I thank God. Hallelujah. She's saying hallelujah all the way from California. Hallelujah. Sister Cookie's saying, God, I thank you for waking me up this morning. Sister Mindy says, I thank God. Hallelujah. Sometimes we have to get past what we feel like, past our feelings, past what we, we think we should have, past the desires that we have, but we don't have. Hallelujah. Past the things. When we get past the things, when you get into that secret place, hallelujah. When you get into that quiet place, hallelujah. That's where you find joy and strength. Hallelujah. And I thank God. Hallelujah. I thank God that we can find a place in God to find our joy and to find our strength. Hallelujah. I was reading this morning.
morning um, over in Psalms. Uh, the scripture in Psalms 16 and 11 dropped in my spirit yesterday. I wrote it down. It says in the Passion Translation, it says, because of you, I know the path of life. Because of you, because of God, because of God, I know the path of life. You don't know which way you should go. You don't know which way you should take without the Lord showing you. You think you may know. You think even if, you, if you're not living in God, if you're not living under the banner of salvation, hallelujah, God gives you insight and you may not even realize it. He gives you insight on which way you should go. The Bible says in the Passion Translation, Psalm 16 and 11, it says, because of you, I know the path of life. As I taste the fullness of joy in your presence, we get, we obtain, we're able to be in and have the fullness of joy, hallelujah, in the presence of God. Hallelujah. I like it says, as I taste the fullness of joy. The Bible says in Psalms 34, I think it says, hey, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. When you, when you go and you taste something, when you try something out, you actually have to open your mouth. You cannot taste taste anything without open your mouth, opening your mouth. And because you're able to taste something, you're able to, to tell whether it's good or not. And this passage of scripture is letting us know when we taste, when we taste him, hallelujah, in the full, there's fullness of joy in his presence, in his presence. There's not joy in anything else, but in the presence of, of the Lord. You may be happy, you may be happy by what you have. You may be happy by what you're experiencing on that um, on on that uh, vacation, or happy with the money you have, or happy where you live. But there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah! That means joy over bu bubbling over in your spirit. Joy bubbling over in every area of your life. There is joy in the presence of God. And some of us, we need to change our mindset. We need to change our thoughts. We need to change how we how we think about God how we think about this relationship with God and we need to get back into his presence and find the fullness of joy. Some of us are walking around, some of us are walking around not even happy or excited about being in the presence of God, not even happy or excited about uh, uh, serving a, a, a risen savior. Hallelujah. Not happy or excited about um, uh, serving a God, hallelujah, who said, not, who said not a mumbling word when they took him to the cross, who, who who died and bled, bled and died on the cross, who, who, who gave up his life for yours. We should be full of joy. Hallelujah. Because we're in his presence and it's, it's in his presence that we have, it's in his right hand, their pleasures forevermore. We experience the, the passion translation here says divine pleasures forevermore, divine pleasures pleasures, pleasures only given by God. Hallelujah. Because we're at his right side, at his power side, at the power side of God, in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Anybody want to be in the presence of God? Anybody want to experience the divine pleasures of being in the presence of God? Hallelujah. I got both of my hands held up in the air. Hallelujah. I want to experience the pleasures of the Lord, the divine presence, pleasures of the Lord, because I'm in his presence. And it took me over into Psalms 91. Psalms 91 reminds us, I was thinking about uh, the scripture, Psalms 91. Um, it says, when you abide on the, under the shadow of of the most high. It says he in the King James version, he that dwelleth in the secret place. Hallelujah. He that dwelleth in the secret place. Let's us know that this place is not easily obtained. Well, it's easily obtained, but you have to actually go somewhere to get to this secret place. It's a secret. Hallelujah. You have to you have to get there some kind of way. It's not just out in the open, but you have to dwell in the secret place. You have to uh, live in the secret place. Hallelujah of the most high. The, uh, and it's in that secret place that you will abide under the shadow. Uh, the, the, the Amplified Bible says that you will remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty. Here in the Passion Translation, it says you are hidden in the strength of the most high. 
Hi, God. I'm crying out this morning, Lord, hide me in the strength of God. Hallelujah. Why don't you say that with me? Lord, hide me in the strength of God. Don't hide me in my own strength. Don't hide me under my family name. Don't hide me under my resources. Don't hide me under the things that I have, but Lord, hide me under your strength. Hide me in your strength. And Lord, the way that I get to this secret place or the way that I get to this hidden strength is to get into your secret place. Hallelujah. And I believe in my heart that I get there. Hallelujah straight out of Psalm 16 and 11, that I have to have joy. I got to find joy in his presence. Hallelujah. I got to find joy. And how I, how do I get into the joy? I need to have a thankfulness in my heart. I need to have a thanksgiving in my heart. Hallelujah. I need to have a thanksgiving on my lips. I need to have a hallelujah in my heart. Some of us are saying too many different things with our mouth. Some of us have different things harbored in our heart. And we need to ask the Lord, Lord, change Change what I'm saying and change my heart. Take out this heart of flesh. Take out this stony heart and give me a heart of flesh. Some of us are still wrapped up and tied up in the things that we've we've done in our past. We, we're carrying anger. We're carrying frustration. We're carrying the the, the things that we we said we were free from. We're, we're we're just we got all this stuff and we're wondering how come I can't experience the fullness of joy? How come I can't experience the fullness of joy? Well, when was the last time you praised God? When was the last time you got into his presence? When was the last time that you let your praise carry you over into worship? It says, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And we know that they that worship him, we must worship him in spirit and in truth. So when was the last time that your praise took you from the outer court and took you into the inner court? When was the last time your praise carried you into worship, carried you into the secret place, carried you into the holies of holies? Hallelujah. I'm a firm believer, hallelujah, that we can get to this joy if we start with our praise. If we start with our praise, the praise will take us into uh, a, a, a place of just things, just being happy and excited to a place of joy. Hallelujah. Where we have the fullness of joy in his presence. And I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you all. Hallelujah. Male or female. I don't know about y'all, but the safest place. Hallelujah. Uh, we know it's in the will of God and I want to be in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Anybody want to be in the presence of God today? I want to be in the presence of God. I want to be at his right hand. Hallelujah experiencing his divine pleasures, not just for today, not just for tomorrow, but forevermore. Uh, hallelujah. I want to dwell. I want to live in his presence. Hallelujah. And I know you're probably saying, well, sis Farig, I got to go to work. Sis Farig, I got to go. I got to deal with my kids. I got to, I got to, I got to work with people that are not saved. I got to deal with people on my job and family members that are not saved. How, how can I do this? Well, listen, it is a secret place. Hallelujah. I should have the other translation pulled up and I don't. Uh, the King James Bible says, he that dwelleth in a secret place. It's not going to be a place where everybody's going to be able to see it, but you know, you have to get into that secret place. You got to carve out your time. You got to carve out your time and say, Lord, I'm here meeting you in the secret place because I need strength from you. Some of us are failing. Some of us are faltering. Some of us are falling by the wayside because we don't have the strength of God. And I, 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 when I saw that this morning and I've read the Passion Translation before, but it never, it did not resonate with me until this morning. I was reading it in the Amplified Bible. Hallelujah. Let me pull that up. I was reading it in the Amplified Bible. Look, look what it says. It says, he who dwells dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, uh, whose power no enemy can withstand. No enemy will be able to get past this. It's like a barrier. It's like a fortress. No enemy uh, will, will, will be able to get past uh, this presence. Hallelujah. Get past this shadow. Hallelujah. You will remain secure and you will rest in. You will remain secure and you will rest in. You're not going to have to fight while you're in there. Hallelujah. Because no enemy will be able to 
withstand. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, I'm going to skip down to verse nine. Look what it says here in verse nine. It says, because you have made the Lord. Do y'all see that? Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling, your dwelling place, no evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your twin near your tent. Uh, we, we know that scripture in the, in the King James, that there should be no evil befall thee, neither shall there be any plague come nigh thy, thy dwelling, come nigh your, your where you live, come nigh where you stay. Let's look at this in the, uh, I want to pull this back up in the Passion Translation. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I, I see y'all typing. I can't wait to see what, what y'all are typing over there in, in, in the comment section. I thought I saw Kimmy testify and I'm going to get back over to that testimony here in just a second hallelujah this is verse nine hallelujah glory be to god it says when we live our lives within the shadow we have to live our lives y'all this is not a just a one day thing it's not just a monday thing it's not just a tuesday thing we have to live our lives within the shadow of god the most high and we know that's in that shadow it's where we will remain stable and fixed in that shadow we will remain stable and fixed and no power no evil power will be able to withstand he says when we live our lives within the shadow of god most high hallelujah our secret hiding place there it is again we will always be shielded from harm how then could evil prevail against us or disease infect us and look at the next verse it says god sends angels with special with special orders to protect you wherever you go defending you from all harm but that's when we are spending our lives within the shadow of the most high within the shadow of the most high i wrote in my i wrote in my notes Hallelujah, because I was just, I was so amazed at that translation. It says, when you abide in the hidden strength of God, and we want to abide in the hidden strength of God, not within my own strength, not with my own might, not with my own power, but it's by his power and it's by his might and it's by his strength, said the Lord. Hallelujah. If you walk into a trap, uh, look at this, the angels. We have to be in this secret place and then God will send his angels with special, with special orders to protect you wherever you go, to protect you wherever you go, defending you from all harm. If you walk in a trap, they'll be there for you and keep you from stumbling. We're wondering why we stumble. We wonder why we walk into the trap. Well, I have a question for you, ma'am, and I have a question for you, sir. Are you dwelling in the secret place? Because remember, hallelujah, back in Psalm 16, thank you, Holy Ghost, it says, because of you, I know the path of life. Because of you... Oh, I'm, this is just, this is, this is cutting me today because of you. I know the path of life. So if we jump back over to Psalms 91, if you walk into a trap, they'll be there for you and keep you from stumbling. But we got to stay in the secret place. Don't, don't, don't get, don't get, uh, 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 beside yourself in the secret place. Cause I'm here to let you know if it's a secret, not many people are there. Hallelujah. Now just, just go with me for a second. If it's a secret, not many people are there. Now I'm not saying that you're the only one that will ever get to the secret place. Hallelujah. Because we can all be in the secret place all at the same time and, and not, not bump into each other. Okay. We can all be in the secret place, but let me tell you, it's not a popular thing. I'm here to tell you, it's not popular to get into the secret place because you're going to have to put away some things. You're going to have to uh, 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 shun away some things. You may have to steal away to get into the secret place. You may have to say, you know, I'm cutting off this TV so I can get in the secret place. You know, I, I need to, and I'm on Facebook right now and we'll be on YouTube a little bit later. We're on Instagram right now. We're on TikTok. Let me tell you, sometimes you may have to say, let me put this phone down because I need to get in the quiet place so I can get into the secret place.
place. Hallelujah. I got too much stuff going on. There's too much talking in the background. There's too much noise in the background. Let me cut this music off because I need to get into the secret place of the most high. I need to know the path of life. If you're wondering which way should I go? What steps should I take? Hallelujah. Well, it says, I know the path of life. Why? Because of you. It's because of you, because of God, because of Jesus, because of the Holy Spirit. I know the path of life. So if you're walking around saying, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Did you ask the Lord? Did you seek the Lord while you can find him? Did you call upon him while he is there? Did you ask him? Did you go looking for him? Did you say, Jesus, I need to know, do I take this job? Jesus, I need to know, do I move to this house? Jesus, I need to know. Hallelujah. We need to ask the Lord. It's because of him that we have, that we know the path of life. And then he shares that path of life with us. And then we begin to taste and see the taste, the, in the fullness of his joy because we're in his presence, because we sought him out. And then we receive those divine, y'all, the, the, these two, these two passages of scripture are, 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 are all just, all just not eating me up in a bad way, but just making me uh, take, take a bite for myself. Hallelujah. Don't, don't think I'm sitting here on the platform with you all. And I haven't, I haven't heard the, the spirit of the Lord say, put the phone down, uh, get into my presence, uh, uh, get up and go pray, uh, get, get, get off to yourself. Uh, you, you spend it too much time uh, doing what you want to do. You spend it too much time not, not in my presence. Hallelujah. When the Lord prompts you, it, it's time to move. When the Lord prom you don't have to give, you don't have to give a, an account of anything. I, I got to move. Maybe, maybe that means you can't eat lunch at your desk anymore. You, you got to eat lunch and maybe go off and go sit in your car. Maybe you got to get away from the crowd because I need to know the path of life. Yeah, I need to know which way I should go. I need to know what I should do. I need to know how to handle. I need to know how to pray for this person. I need to know the path of life. I need to know the path of life and I know the path of life because of him. I know that I have joy because I've been in his presence. I know I taste, I taste, I have to actually do something. I have to be involved. I have to do something. I'm going to taste the fullness of joy in his presence at his right hand, at his power side of God, at the power side of God. I experience divine pleasures. Pleasures that, 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 that no earthly possession could give you. Hallelujah. Anybody know when you get into the presence of God, there is a pleasure there. There is a, a, a completeness there when you're in the presence. Anybody know that? Put, put a heart or a thumbs up in the comment section if you know. When you get into the presence of God, when you get into his presence, when you, uh, I was listening to, listening to a, a worship song this morning, and it says, when, when, you, when I'm in the presence, I don't know what time it is. I have no idea. what I, I lose all sense of time. I, I, lo I lose all sense of knowing it, where, where I am, the, uh, where, where I am. I know I'm sitting in my office. I know I'm sitting here at my desk, but I just lose my, the sense of what, what's going on because I'm wrapped up in his presence. Some of y'all need to get wrapped up in him. We're, we're, some, of, some of us are too aware of our surround. We're too aware of what's going on. No, I want to be aware of his presence. Anybody want to be, I want to be aware of the presence of God, where there's fullness of joy, where there's fullness of joy, and that his right hand, their pleasures, hallelujah, their pleasures forevermore. I want to be in the fullness, in, in, in the fullness of God, hallelujah, and experience the pleasures, the pleasures of him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There are things that you get in the presence of God that nothing, nothing can match it. Nothing can match it. There is a refreshing that you get in the presence of God that, that no, no, no length of a, of, a, of a trip or vacation can match it. No, 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 no uh, extravagant food can match it. Hallelujah. I don't care if somebody dropped now. If somebody dropped a million dollars, you're going to be happy. But there is a joy. There is a joy in being in the presence of God. I want to encourage you all today that you find yourself getting into the presence of God. 
And your, you getting into the presence of God may look different than somebody else's. So don't base it off of anybody else. Don't base it off of anyone else. I want to know the path for my life. I'm going to know that because of God. I'm going to know that because of God. And if I'm in his presence, I will experience the fullness of joy. Joy overflowing. Joy bubbling over. Hallelujah. And experience his divine pleasures forevermore. I thank God for his word. I thank God for his scripture. I thank God for the word of God. Hallelujah. That reminds us that we need to get into that secret place of the most high and be hidden by the strength of God. I want to be hidden by the strength of God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Y'all, I'm encouraged in my spirit. I'm encouraged in my spirit, man. I don't know anybody else out there encouraged. Hallelujah. If you are, put a thumbs up in the comment section. Put a heart in the comment section. God is good. Hallelujah. I see some redeemed people of the Lord on the broadcast. I see some redeemed people of the Lord on the broadcast. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is so good. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Y'all, today is Testimony Tuesday. Y'all, today is Testimony Tuesday. Sister Kimmy says she has a praise report that her son Joseph, he's starting work tomorrow, y'all. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I remember that prayer request. You didn't, you, it hadn't even been, I don't think it's been two whole weeks since you put that, that prayer request out. Hallelujah. That he is starting work tomorrow. Isn't God good? Isn't God good? Hallelujah. I'm going to put a few hearts in there for you, Kim. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank God for that. That is a testimony, y'all. That is a testimony of the goodness of God. This mother cried out. This mother prayed. She, um, pray. I know she had been praying. Then put it into the prayer request on our on our broadcast. We stood in the gap with her and look at the report. Hallelujah! Her son is starting. It, it, she said it hasn't even been a week. Starting work tomorrow. Isn't God good? Hallelujah! God is a good God. Glory be to God. He. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be God is who God is good. If y'all haven't put those prayer requests in, you can go ahead and put them into the comment section below. Hallelujah. God is good. That's right, Sister Mindy. The Lord is so good. Hallelujah. Look at this. I re rejoice with those who rejoice. Hallelujah. I was on a I was on social media uh uh yesterday and there was a it was a it was a Tamla man David uh David is his last name man. Um uh they were I think they were in a concert and there was a young lady that broke out into a praise. Some people were just kind of standing around, but this young lady just broke out. She was in the aisle, she was praising God, rejoicing in dance and and praises and David Mann came off the platform and praised God with her right there next to her. And they rejoiced together. And we rejoice with them that rejoice. Hallelujah. We thank God for the Lord blessing um, her son, Kimmy's son, with a job. Y'all, that, huh, y'all better rejoice with them that rejoice. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. That's right, Mother Duncan. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is a good, good God. Hallelujah. He is a good, good God. Hallelujah. God is good. Ah. Eee. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. God is good. <laughs> good. I'm going to try to let this thing go. Ah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God is good. I'm trying to get through. Hallelujah. Down through our list. Good morning, Sister Holman. God bless you. It's great to see you on today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> good morning, Sister Cece. She says, uh, I have a Lord, you know, request. We got you. To God be the glory. Thank God for protecting me under his shadow, driving the work. And I'm grateful to listen to that. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God is good. And we'll definitely be praying for you. I have your Lord, you know, request. God is good. I thank God even for you being able to listen while you're driving. The art of technology. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. 
Ooh, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. That's right, Sister Kimmy. I love the word too. I love the word too. God is awesome. I love it. I love it. Sister Holman, she says she's driving to Minnesota. It was 15 minutes from destination and caught in a whoo, caught in a tornado. Started singing God's praises. Could not see anything. He hallelujah. Glory be to God. Mm, that's right. That weather did cut across. God is good. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for blessing Sister Holman. Hallelujah. She was about 15 minutes from her destination and a tornado came in. Hallelujah. But praise God. She wasn't able to see anything, but the Lord brought them in safely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No plague or calamity will come nigh to your dwelling, even if your dwelling is moving in a car. <laughs> <laughs> will come nigh to your dwelling. Hallelujah. God is a keeper and he is a sustainer. Glory be. To, that sounds like a testimony to me. Hallelujah. That sounds like a testimony to me. Hallelujah. Y'all coming through with the praise reports. Sister Alicia has another one. She says, praise report. Her granddaughter is off the crutches and the brace. <laughs> God is good. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We got a young man that's starting his new job tomorrow. Hallelujah. You got a, a, a sister Holman who was brought through a tornado safely. Hallelujah. With no harm. Hallelujah. Isn't God good? We've seen tornadoes pick cars up, pick trucks up and blow them and, 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 and rip them apart. But God, Oh, God is good. Hallelujah. And the praise report from Sister Brown that her granddaughter, y'all, I don't know, y'all didn't see the picture. Her granddaughter had a brace of almost as long as her leg on her leg. Hallelujah. Off the crutches and out of the knee brace. I did not hear Sister Brown say nothing about the surgery. I didn't hear her say anything about getting treatments, a shot or injection. The praise report is off the crutches and out of the knee brace. God is a good, good God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Sister Renee, I see your request. Sister Cookie, I see your request. Hey, God is good. Ah, look at this. There's a job anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mother Duncan says, my grandsons got a job. They start today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody believing God for a job? There, there must be an anointing for getting jobs. Hallelujah. If you are, are looking for a job, looking for God to transition you, looking for God to bless you in a different way. On Maybe you have a job, but you're looking for a different type of job, a new level, or you know somebody that needs a job. Hallelujah. I want you to call that person's name out right now or call yourself out and let's stretch our hands. I'm stretching my hands as a point of contact. I know a couple of people in my spirit, man, that I know they need a job. I know they're looking for careers, careers, jobs and careers. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Let's pray right now. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you right now for what you're doing in the lives of your people. Lord, thank you for blessing Kimmy's son, Joseph, with a job that will start tomorrow. Thank you for blessing Mother Duncan, Duncan's grandsons with a job that's starting, to, uh, that's starting today. And Lord, we thank you for blessing these young men. We thank you for blessing these young men with jobs. Hallelujah. And Lord God, we're praying for those young men and women in our lives and even for ourselves that may be looking for a job. Lord God, I pray that you would open up the windows of heaven. The same anointing that was on these young people, that same, the same anointing that was on these young men that obtained these jobs or let the same anointing be on the loved ones that we're calling out now in the name of Jesus, that jobs will come through, that the calls will come through, that the emails will be returned in the name of Jesus and anything that's up against them hallelujah will be taken down will be taken down in the name of jesus lord that your will will be done in the lives of your people that are seeking employment lord god bless lord god cover and thank you for doing a mighty work in jesus name we pray hallelujah amen and it is so hallelujah amen and it is so hallelujah you guys reach up and grab it for yourself or for your family member or for those that are connected to you those that need work employment in the 
name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God will cause it to be so. Hallelujah. Sister Kimmy said it hasn't even been a week. It hasn't even been a week. You can go one week in one status and less than seven days later, a whole nother status. Hallelujah. We thank God for the turnaround. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That's right. Look at our God. Hallelujah. Look at our God. Yes. Look at our God. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Sister Brown says she is totally healed. Took her swimming to y'all. <laughs> Look at that. She said she is 100% healed. Uh, and she took her swimming to celebrate. Hallelujah. Look at the name of the Lord. Look at what God can do. Only God can do it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I see y'all put names out here. Hallelujah. Y'all put names in the comment section. Hallelujah. Lord bless Aisha Thompson in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know, you know the situation. Lord, I ask that you come in and have your way. Lord, if it's a job that's needed, Lord God, I pray that you do it. Hallelujah. Let you do it, that you cause it to be done in the name of Jesus. Where others have said, no, Lord, I thank you for the yes that's coming her way. In Jesus name, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. And it is so Lord bless Lee. Cornelius in the name of Jesus Lord touch now in the name of Jesus what was wrong Lord I ask that you make it right Lord turn it around for them in the name of Jesus turn it around in the name of Jesus and God we thank you right now hallelujah we praise you thank you for the turnaround thank you for the job thank you for the increase in Jesus name we pray hallelujah amen and it is so in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we're praying for Joseph T for housing. Hallelujah. If you're believing God for a house, change of residence, or uh, someone else in your family is believing God for the house, the, the miracle house, the financing, whatever the case may be, let's stretch our hands in agreement. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you right now. I thank you for Sister Mindy who's standing in the gap for Joseph T. And Lord, we're praying that Joseph T get the house and obtain the housing that he so desires. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, work all through that application. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray that you step in. Hallelujah hallelujah and order his steps in the name of Jesus and Lord God cover this application and Lord God let it be done and let it be so in Jesus name we pray hallelujah amen and it is so amen and it is so glory be to God God is good hallelujah let the redeemed of the Lord say what say so hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus good morning sister Tyra God bless you it's great to see you on glory be to God praying that you all have safe travel coming back in the name of Jesus. God is good, y'all. I'm excited about what God, y'all, it is Testimony Tuesday, and I'm seeing the testimonies of the goodness of the Lord. Anybody want to rejoice? Rejoice in the name of the Lord with us. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. New house, new house for Lamar. Hallelujah. And cover the home of Sister Sandra. Hallelujah. If you want God to cover your home, let's lift our hands. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you cover our homes, cover our dwelling places, oh God, in the name of Jesus and put a hedge of protection around our homes. In the name of Jesus, no evil, no evil and no plague come nigh to our dwelling, come nigh to our tent, come nigh to where we live, to where we stay, and even come nigh to our houses, to our bodies, God. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for it now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And and it is so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there's anybody, I feel pressed in my spirit to go this way. Is anybody dealing with any type of sickness in their body? Hallelujah. 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 I just want to pray for you. Just stretch your hands toward the screen. Dearly Father, Lord, I pray right now for that person is dealing with sickness in their body. Hallelujah. I, I don't know if it's, it's chest pains or, 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 or issues with the heart. Lord God, I pray that you would touch them now in the name of Jesus, that you would allow your healing power and your healing virtue flow through them now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Sickness, you have to go. Sickness, you have to flee now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Take 
take your hands off. And Lord, I pray a hedge of protection around this person. I pray your healing power be upon this person. In Jesus name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. And it is so. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God is a good God, y'all. Hallelujah. God is a good God, y'all. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Remember, if you have not put in your prayer request, go ahead and put it into the comment section. Glory be to God. God is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord God, I'm praying for Sister Kimmy. Lord God, I'm praying for Sister Mindy. Lord God, I'm praying for Sister Cookie. Lord God, we're praying for Sister Renee. Hallelujah. Lord, you know their request. You know what they have need of. You know what they have desire of. Hallelujah. Lord God, I pray that you will come in and have your way. That you will move by your spirit. Lord God, have your way. Order their steps according to your will, according to your purpose for their life right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, I thank you for doing a mighty work. I thank you, Lord, for doing a complete work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for making the crooked places straight. Hallelujah. I actually see the crooked, crooked path made straight. Lord God, thank you for making the crooked place, the rough place, the difficult places in their life straight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And what was, as my pastor says, that what was is no longer the stumbling block that was in your life hallelujah that it is no longer in jesus name god and we thank you for it now we thank you for the turnaround we thank you for the turnaround the divine turnaround hallelujah in jesus name we pray hallelujah amen and it is so glory be to god glory be to god hallelujah thank you lord jesus hallelujah I thank god hallelujah for sister brown's praying grandchildren hallelujah i got a chance to meet one of these grandbabies and i'm telling you that little girl's hot hand she put her hot hand right here on my shoulder and i tell you i felt the presence of god i don't even know if she's four hallelujah but i know that little girl she's got an anointing on her life hallelujah you all need to be thanking god for your children and you need to be thanking god for your grandchildren i don't care where they are i don't care what role they're playing if they're following god or not you need to thank god for your children and you need to thank god for your grandchildren and we're gonna pray hallelujah the god will keep his hand on their lives and will will cover and save all down through your bloodline in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for those that are connected to us. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you right now. Hallelujah for what you're doing in the lives of your people. This little girl is two years old. Hallelujah, Lord. I thank you for touching her mind. I thank you for touching our young people, our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. Thank you for touching her, our, their, the minds of our children, Lord God, whether they're saved or unsaved, Lord, touch their mind in the name of Jesus and renew their mind in you in the name of Jesus, Lord, and touch their heart. Hallelujah. Take away the stony heart of the world. Take away the, the stony heart of the world and give them a heart of flesh, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they may hear from you and respond. They may be able to hear and experience your presence. Hallelujah. Lord God, I pray that you would heal all through our bloodline in the name of Jesus, that you break up generational curses, that you cast out and break generational curses in the name of Jesus. And Lord, save in the name of Jesus. Lord, redirect lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, completely set free in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for it now. We thank you for the healing power of God going through our family. That cancer be broken. Hallelujah. That sickle cell be broken. That lupus be broken in the name of Jesus. That heart disease be broken. That cancer be broken in the name of Jesus. That what our older members of our family dealt with, we won't deal with it. Hallelujah. And it be broken off their lives. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah. COPD, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Heart conditions be broken. Diabetes be broken in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we thank you for your healing power. We thank you for your healing anointing. In Jesus name we pray. Hallelujah. 
Amen, and it is so. Amen, and it is so. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, I thank you for each and every person under the sound of my voice. Hallelujah, as we leave this platform, but never your presence. God, we thank you for what you're doing on our broadcast. We thank you for doing in the broadcast, how you're blessing those, how you're saving and delivering, how you're saving and setting free. Lord God, thank you for healing Patrick. Thank you, Lord, for healing Jesse in the name of Jesus. Thank you for blessing Glenn. Hallelujah. And covering and protecting him. Thank you for healing Jim in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for touching and completely healing Becky from that back surgery in the name of Jesus. Thank you for healing Ron's high blood pressure and hallelujah, his irregular and the irregular heartbeat that he's experiencing. Lord God, thank you for healing. Thank you for completely setting free in the name of Jesus. Now, God, we thank you and we pray that you be with us as we go from this platform. Bless us as we go out. Cover us and keep us. Bless our homes. Allow things to be uh, better than they are now than when we than when we leave later in the day. God, we thank you for it now. Thank you for each and every person that's watching, each and every person that's clicked in, that was able to comment, those that may be watching, those that may come back and watch later. Thank you for blessing them. Thank you for giving them your peace that goes beyond your our natural understanding. And God, we thank you for it now. God, we praise you for it now. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. And it is so. Amen. And it is so. Glory be to God. Listen, you all, I want to thank you all for joining us for Morning Encounter. Thank you for being here with us for Morning Encounter. I thank God for each and every one of you. Thank you for taking out the time to be with us, to listen to, to listen in, to, to chime in, to, to type something in the comment section, to hit a thumbs up or heart. I thank you for being on this morning. I pray that you're able to share out, let somebody know that we're here. Don't, don't be afraid to let them know. They may say, well, why are you up so, why are you up so early in the morning? Why are you, what's the point? Why are you, listen, I, I, I'm part of the redeemed and I'm saying so. I'm part of the redeemed and I'm saying so. There is power and strength when you're connected to the body of Christ, when you're connected to the believers. You all don't know how much strength, hallelujah, you give me. When I see your names pop up, I'm encouraged to know this is what we're supposed to be doing at this particular time. You know, the enemy likes to try to come in and say, well, you know, what you're doing ain't, ain't nothing. But listen, when I see the names, when I see the thumbs up, when I see the heart, even if y'all, somebody accidentally hits the mad face or the crying face, I am encouraged in my heart. Hallelujah. Knowing that we're doing exactly what God has given us to do. I thank God for each and every one of you. Listen, don't forget, we'll be back on tomorrow morning for Witness Wednesday. We already got a witness because we're hearing the testimonies of the Lord. The testimonies of the Lord. God is good. I appreciate you all. I'm seeing your comments right now that you're praying. Thank you for praying for myself, for my husband, for our family. I appreciate your prayers. I, I thank you all so much for praying for us. We, we, we don't shun away. We don't shun away the prayers because we, we truly believe. Hallelujah. God can use anybody to pray. God can use any anybody to speak into our lives. Hallelujah. We thank God for your prayers. Thank you all for, for just everything. Some of you have been uh, uh, giving um, a, a love token to uh, to the platform. Thank you. Hallelujah. We, we use those things to help uh, offset the cost of what we try to do in terms of the platform that we're running on, even through it's on Facebook, but there's a whole nother platform that's involved into what you see on Facebook. These little, these little things that fly in on the side that, that, that there's a cost to all of that. And I thank you because you all, you, you take you, what you, your own gift and you, um, you bless us with it. And we thank you for it. We thank God for you and we thank God for you and your family. Listen, I don't care. If you don't have anything to listen, I'm so thankful to see your faces pop up. I just saw like three more people just pop into the pop in. And I thank God for you. I see um, Sister Patrice is on. God bless you. It's great to see you on. Your, your name dropped in my spirit yesterday. And we're praying much for you. Good morning, uh, District Missionary Arnetta Moore. God bless you. It's great to see you on. I know you haven't commented, but I saw your name pop into my feed. Good morning, uh, Sister Cynthia. 
Cynthia Brown, God bless you. I pray that you're well. I know you're going to be traveling soon, praying God's hand of protection over you as you travel. I thank God for each and every one of you. God is good. I love the Lord today. I thank God for being on the platform. Listen, I want to encourage you all as you go out from, from here to share out the word of God. We shared out Psalm 16 and 11. We shared out uh, yeah, Psalm 16 and 11. We shared out Psalms 91 verses 1. We shared out verses 9 and 10 um, in the Passion Translation. Share those scriptures out with somebody that you're connected to. Just just Brother Randy Rafter, God bless you. It's great to see you on. Thank you for clicking in and joining us this morning. And you all feel free to go back and listen to what we shared out with those scriptures and the prayer. God is blessing people with jobs. God is blessing people. Hallelujah. Touching them in their minds. Touching bodies. Hallelujah. Sister Alicia Brown's granddaughter was in a cast and on crutches, y'all. She was in a, a knee brace, a leg brace, almost as long as her leg in a brace and on crutches. Hallelujah. The Lord delivered Sister Holman through a tornado, y'all. We've seen pictures recently of, 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 of tornadoes lifting up semi-trucks and throwing them across the highway. And Sister Alicia drove through the tornado with no harm at all whatsoever. We know God is a healer and we are thanking God and we're glorifying God in his protection and keeping. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you all, if you haven't done so already, follow us on social media, follow us on Facebook. We're here on Instagram right now where people are on Instagram right now. Uh, we're on TikTok. Hallelujah. We're on Instagram and we're on uh, Facebook and YouTube. That's the other one. We're on YouTube. So YouTube will post in just about 10 or 15 minutes. But listen, you all share out, let somebody know know that we're here every weekday morning. Our time is not five o'clock central time. We're on at six o'clock central time. I thank God for each and one of each and every one of you. I pray that you go in the name of the Lord and in the power of his might. And listen, do you believe God? I believe God. I pray that you have a beautiful, blessed day and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow for Witness Wednesday. Be blessed and go in the name of God.